Hello everyone! Throughout this video, you will see two prices at the bottom of the screen. The first price is the total of the entire meal, and the second price is the individual cost per person. This is a collab with Kat at Southern Farm and Kitchen. Her videos have cooking, what's for dinner, grocery hauls, vlogs. I will have her channel and her video linked below, so make sure you go subscribe to her and watch her what's for dinner. The first meal that I am starting off with is chicken enchiladas. This one is requested quite often in our household. Whenever I am making a dish that requires shredded chicken, I like to put my chicken in my pressure cooker, put a cup of water in it, and in the cup of water I have chicken bouillon mixed into that. This gives the chicken a little extra flavor and it is much easier to shred after coming out of the pressure cooker. I like to pressure cook it on high for 12 minutes. Once the chicken is shredded and placed in a frying pan, I add taco seasoning mix, a little bit of water, some chopped green chilies, and a little bit of enchilada sauce. And I let the chicken simmer together and pick up all of those seasonings. I'm gonna put this in the oven on 350 and bake it for 25 minutes. Tonight for dinner, we are having wet burritos. In this pan, I have some hamburger. It's frozen, so it's thawing out <laughs> and cooking. For seasoning, I like to use the burrito seasoning, but for whatever reason, Walmart did not have it. So I got taco seasoning. I'm gonna add to that when the burger is cooked. And then I like to add refried beans right into the taco meat. On the back burner, I have some red enchilada sauce warming up. This one's mild. I prefer medium, but they didn't have medium. And then on this burner, I have cheddar cheese soup with a little bit of milk added to it. It makes it creamier. I have the burrito size tortillas. And then for toppings, I have shredded lettuce, some onion chopped up, some tomato chopped up, some sliced black olives. Jason likes the banana pepper rings and Tim and Jason both like jalapeno slices. And then I also have some sour cream. So basically a wet burrito is you make up a burrito and all of the toppings go on top of your burrito and it is delicious. Most Mexican restaurants, you can find this on their menu but it's pretty easy to make from home. Tonight for dinner, we are having an oldie but a goodie. Oh my goodness, I love Manwich. Do you like Manwich? I always look forward to it. It smells so good. So I already scrambled up our burger. I got the Manwich inside of it, cooking up, simmering away, and picking up those flavors. Look at these super yummy buns. I found these at Walmart in the bakery section. They have like flour on them. They're really soft. Oh my goodness. Jason already took one for a sandwich and he said they're amazing. On my manwich, I like to have ketchup and mustard and then I like to have dill pickles. And then on the side, we are gonna have fries. These are the fast food fries. And then for seasoning on that, we get the Red Robins seasoning, so good. So that's what we have on our fries tonight. And then I think I'm gonna have ketchup to dip them in too. This is Tim's, and do you have ketchup and mustard on yours? Do you like no ketchup and mustard at all? But he likes to top his with a slice of American cheese. And then Justin, Justin does not like man much. <laughs> so Justin has chicken with the Claude's fajita seasoning on it and some cheese in a tortilla. This is Jason's, and he doesn't have ketchup and mustard either, do you? Mm and just pickles on yep. his. Today we are making roast beef sandwiches. For cheese, we like to use this sliced provolone and we put a slice on the bottom and the top of ciabatta rolls and you can find these at Walmart in the bakery section. We usually buy our roast beef at Sam's, but they didn't have it. So we found this at Walmart. It smells just as good. I mean, Walmart and Sam's are pretty much the same anyway but this is what we're going to use for the roast beef. 
And this one does not have cheese because this one's Justin's and he never eats cheese on his. But we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about eight minutes and then we switch it to the broiler for just one to two minutes and toast it up. We like to dunk these roast beef sandwiches into an au jus, and I purchased this at Walmart. This one's by McCormick. It's just really super good. I love a good sandwich, and this one makes, oh, it's excellent and super easy. Easy cleanup. Gotta try this one. If you are new to my channel or coming over from Kat's channel, welcome! I am so glad you're here. Here at Life's Little Things, I have cooking videos, what's for dinners, decorating, and so much more. I hope you hit the subscribe button and become a part of this YouTube family. Tonight for dinner, I am making Tuscan chicken, and I'm going to have help from McCormick. This is a one skillet McCormick seasoning packet. Now on the back it says use Catalina beans, diced tomatoes, and spinach leaves, but I am switching it up a little bit and I am making it with sun-dried tomatoes, zucchini, and baby spinach. So you just sprinkle your chicken with the Tuscan seasoning. I'm not going to use all of it because I want to use some for over the vegetables too. I'm going to continue to cook the chicken and then I'm going to add the vegetables. It's going to be a quick, easy meal to prepare tonight. We topped it with this Asiago Romano and Parmesan cheese that we found at Walmart a while ago. It is so good and I think that is a perfect topper to this meal. Tonight we are having lazy lasagna. I have scrambled up my burger and to this I added salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now I'm going to add about three-fourths of the container of spaghetti sauce in a sprayed 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to add the rest of the sauce to the bottom of the pan. The recipe calls for frozen ravioli, but I am using this fresh ravioli. I'm just gonna adjust my cooking time. So on top of the sauce, I am going to layer ravioli. Now I am layering the beet sauce. The recipe calls for an Italian cheese. We are using this, it's just a very delicious salad blend that I find at Walmart. I'm going to layer this over top of everything and then I'm going to do the layers one more time. My oven is preheated to 400. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil and because my ravioli is thawed out, I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes, take the aluminum foil off and cook it for another 10 and we should be good to go. Tonight I am cooking up some chicken because I am going to add this Campbell's skillet sauce to it and we are having sesame chicken. We have not tried this sauce before but it looks really good. To the chicken I added salt and pepper and I am bringing up three cups of water to a boil for rice. 
I have this bag of steam fresh broccoli. I'm going to put this in the microwave. I'm going to have this on the side, but whoever wants to add it to the chicken and rice to bulk it up can, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think Jason's in the mood for broccoli, and I'm not quite sure about Timothy. And Justin, he's just never in the mood for broccoli. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? Turning on the burner would probably be a huge help to get the water boiling for the rice. Time changes everything, and everything will change in time. Love changes every heart, and any heart can change you. I doubted myself. I did not think that I had sesame seeds and I do. So I am going to sprinkle sesame seeds over the top of my meal. Are you guys? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you like this style of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now head on over to Kat's channel and watch her video and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you soon.